Okay, welcome everybody to another episode of the Barefoot Lawyer Reports. My name is Will Dethridge. I am the producer of the podcast and joining me here today is Chen Guangcheng. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is very relevant to current events. So in 2018, President Donald Trump enacted some tariffs against China with the hopes of uh, boosting the American economy and countering what he saw as unfair trade agreements. Recently, the Biden administration has considered lifting these tariffs, and actually by the time this podcast releases, uh, they, were, they very well might have been lifted. So, uh, Guangcheng, if you could start by explaining why do you think these tariffs are so important? That would be great. Yeah, I think that, of course, that is very, very important. You know, since 30 or 40 years ago, the Khan Party used the West, uh, the West market to uh, make the trade to become very uh, rich. Mm. But the, the people in mainland China are still poor. Right. We call in China is uh, uh, the rich party, but the poor people. Mm, that makes so sense. you can see, yeah, the, the market not help the Chinese people, just help the Khan party and the party's family become very rich. So now they become very powerful to control the people, to control the country. Uh, so, uh, and the Khan party uh, used the, the money and spend a lot of resources to inf uh, infiltrate him. Uh, to infiltrate the uh, U.S., right. the democracy country, Dem democratic countries. So, yeah, if we keep give the current parties opportunity to get money from West country, the party will use the resources to do the bad thing. Continue, right. continue to do the bad thing. So, you know, when. Uh, uh, Donald Trump's administration uh, make the tariffs very high. I got some information from mainland China, mm -hmm. uh, from different uh, province. You know, some officials in the government, even the Khan Party, uh, stopped to pay their salary. Ah, More than wow. three months. Interesting. Yeah, you know, in Henan province, the Khan parties stopped to pay the officials in local government more than three months. Wow. And the Khan party asked the uh, officials have to uh, keep silent about this. Mm. If you released this information, the Khan party will uh, file them. Fire, fire, fire. Them. fire. Yeah. yeah, we wow. fire them. Wow. So they just talk uh, uh, with their family or with their good friends, each other. They very scared to share the information to the whole world to let the people know. So you can see that is very good. Uh, that is uh, successful. Right. Yeah. So if we keep doing that after several years, maybe the business in mainland China will get in trouble. If, if that happens, the, the in, in the party, they fight each other will start. So, so start fighting each other? Yeah. 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 So that will be ah. change the political system. The party's system will go. That's very yeah, so that is very, very important. Hmm. Now, if the U.S. Uh, Lift the uh, lift the tariffs. Yeah, tariffs. Yeah. The Khan Party will uh, alive again. Right. In, yeah. In the future. Oh no, future. In the history, you know, when sometimes, the, for example, nineteen eighty nine, right? When the Khan Party uh, get in trouble, the Western country helped them to life are back several times like this. Like a, when you say life are back, you mean 
to uh, you know uh, to thrive again or to live again to yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to to live again yes yeah. Yeah, almost died. When the Khan Party almost died, mm, yeah, the, the, the Western country... We, we keep them alive. Yeah, give yeah. them help and let them use the business to get money and give them opportunity to do something. And then the Khan Party uh, life again. Right. So that is the history. That is our experience. We need to stop that happening again. Yeah, yeah. So... So I think that's very important. I think Biden administration should stop to uh, lift the tariffs. Yeah, should stop uh, lifting the tariffs. Yes, yeah. yes. So and not stop should give more. Right. Yeah. Should stop to make a trade, make a uh, deal with the Khan Party. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that these tariffs are. Uh, you know, by hurting the Chinese Communist Party, they're helping people in China because, you know, the uh, rhetoric here in the United States is that the tariffs will help the American people. But you're saying they won't just help the American people, but they'll help the Chinese people as well, it sounds like, by hurting the Communist Party, right? Yeah, I think usually even it is not help Chinese people, but uh, hurt the Communist Party. That is very good. Right. For Chinese people, you know, they can't get the benefit from uh, this. Right. The company control everything. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, no matter how much business that they're uh, doing with the United States, all of the money is going to the Communist Party, not actually to the people. So, yes, yes. And yeah, when the Communist Party have money, they will use that to try to steal the technology from right. the U.S. And they use the high technology to make a weapon to, against the U.S. Yes. Yeah, so that, that is not here. So we should have stopped to do the business with the Khan Party. Yeah, why do you think that the uh, Biden administration is interested in removing these tariffs? Oh, yeah, you know, when Biden gets the power, uh, the uh, CPI high and high, right? The uh, CPI? Yeah, the CPI, mm -hmm. the all thing in the U.S. become expensive and expensive. Uh, yes. Yeah, Consumer the price CPI, index. Yeah, yeah. We, mm -hmm. we call it a CPI. Mm -hmm. You know, just last Friday, uh, they released the new information about May. The CPI more than 8.6%. Yeah. And Biden used the new, uh, how to say, used the new uh, count. Report? Or yeah, yeah, used the new way mm -hmm. to make the report. If we use the regular way to count this, for example, 1990s, maybe or more than uh, 13 or 14 percent already. If we oh, use I that, see. yeah. If we use the 1980s uh, way to con account this, calculate this. Yeah, yeah. calculate this more than 17s. Wow. So yeah, you're saying that he's using a new way to calculate CPI, and yes, inflation yeah. is probably a lot worse than it actually is. That you know we're uh, the 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 dollars power to uh, buy things is a lot even weaker than his report is saying. Is that right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so so yeah. I think Biden tried to use this way to resolve this, to make it look like better. Right. For, you know, this year is vote, right? Yeah, that's yeah, midterm elections. So, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think Biden tried to use this way to do that. And another thing is, you know, uh, Biden worked in Washington DC more than 40 years. Right. Of course, before they come to my million China, a lot of times, even his family uh, did the business with the Khan Party. Right, yeah. Yeah. There's so, a lot of ties to uh, you know, China yeah, and business. Yeah. Yes, and they borrowed, uh, I remember maybe uh, millions from the Khan Party mm. to his son. Mm, okay, so yeah. and the company helped him to uh, created the business uh, foundations 
the international foundations. Right. So yeah, I think uh, they tried to make a deal. They tried to keep make a trade each other that will be help the company and some officials in the U.S. but not help the country, not right. help the U.S. I yeah. think. So you're saying that you know to combat inflation, you know, one of the ways that the Biden administration is uh, looking to uh, fight inflation is to have these deals with China again so you know, we can have access to uh, cheaper products and also it benefits his family and other families uh, in Washington DC or other people or agencies uh, here in uh, Washington DC yeah. is that right yeah the political i think the, the people, political people you know before the they make a wrong uh, population with the Khan party. They tried to continue to that, but the history uh, witness that it doesn't work. Right. Yeah. Like you said, in 1989, we tried to help them economically, but it you know, ended up making things uh, very bad in the long run. What other policies do you think we should put in place? to uh, punish them for their human rights abuses. Yeah, I think in the U.S., in fact, we have a different way to do that. For example, we mm -hmm. can use the, uh, the internet, no, uh, uh, the, the U.S. Uh, Magnitsky Law, the Mag uh, Magnitsky mm -hmm. Act. Okay, well, could you explain that? Yeah, of course. You know, we have the law already. Yeah, if the Khan Party uh, continue to prosecuted the activists, tried to uh, destroy the democracy grew in mainland China and continue to uh, pressure Hong Kong like that, we can use that to punish them, not just, uh, not just use the diplomacy to talk something. That doesn't work. Right. Yeah. If we use the, for example, the tar tariffs, and the Magnitsky law right. or stop to give the Khan party or the party's family members with us to let them come here. That very, is very, uh, that is very good way to punish the Khan party. Right. You know, all, more than 90% of the Khan party's family, their family member, their daughter, their sons, their uh, live in America mm -hmm. and yeah. live in Europe. And this, the save the money in the Western countries. If we, if they continue to do that, we can freeze that money in yes. the account. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them to use the money to make money. So that will be, uh, that will be work to stop the Khan Party continue to do the bad thing about human rights, democracy, freedom, and the rule of law. Yeah, now I'm seeing right here the Global Magnitsky Act of 2016. It enables the United States to uh, freeze assets, ban people from entering the United States if uh, foreign governments or their officials have committed human rights atrocities. Mm. So, yes, yeah. that, that law is very powerful. Yeah. Well, Only the problem is we should ask the U.S. government right. to stand up <laughs> to use it. Good tool here already. Yes. Stand up. Yep. Be become brave to use it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, on that note, you know, what do you think Americans can do to uh, put more pressure on the government, especially with midterm elections coming up? Oh, yeah, what are things that listeners to this podcast in the United States can do to uh, encourage this uh, next round of uh, governors, representatives mm -hmm. to uh, act and uh, help defend human rights in China? Yeah, I think first we, all the people uh, can write a letter, can give the right. call to congressmen, senators, even ask the government, the Biden administration, stop to uh, lift the uh, tariffs. Right. And another thing, that we can use the high technology, for example, the, the uh, social media to share the mm. truth. Yes. To tell more people why the, some people want to left the tariffs. 
and tell them how evil of the Khan party. Tell them the Khan party used that to store, steal, steal uh, the, the technology in right. the U.S. Right. to influence our country, tried to destroy our life of freedom. And that it should be, uh, that it will work about this. I know in the U.S. that the government very scared the people to, to get the truth and to talk about this on the media. And another thing is election. Mm, yeah, yes. if you, you, you think if, if they continue to try to make a trade with the Khan party, who tried to do that, we will stop to vote for them. Right. Yeah, use the election to change the situation that will be successful. Yeah, now that sounds great. And you know, for those listening, of course, please continue to follow us on cua.edu slash chr for the Center for Human Rights, which sponsors this podcast. And we appreciate you all listening to this episode of the Barefoot Lawyer Reports. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your friends. Thank you guys very much for listening to another episode. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.